everybody. Happy Wednesday. Oh my gosh, you guys. Bath and Body Works. What the heck? So I went on again this morning to see if they had 75% off on semi-annual sale. No 75% off. No new products. I'm waiting for the rest of this collection to land. Um, that summer drink cocktail collection because I really want the lemon drop martini. We don't have it yet. So I wanted to get kind of nostalgic today and share my body lotion collection. Check it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I collect a lot of the body lotions. I like them because I can do comparisons for you guys. As a vlogger, um, everyone's like, why do you have so much stuff? So I'm a collector, number one. Number two, because I'm a vlogger, I like to have scents around that I can compare everything to. Um, I've always been obsessed with scents my entire life, and this is just a really fun hobby for me. It relaxes me to talk to you guys about all the Bath & Body Works scents. So I think it's fun. I do store these in a Rubbermaid container. This one's actually pretty much full, so I either have to use some, gift some, um, or get a new container. <laughs> But um, body lotions tend to last a pretty long time. I haven't had any problems with these going bad at all. And um, usually, like, you know, I have a lot of relatives who know I do, you know, the, the blogging. And they'll say, hey, Ben, do you have any, you know, spare lotions you can, you know, you know, like my aunt, my mother-in-law. I'm like, yeah, here, got, got lotion. So I, I definitely, my collection changes on a, on a regular basis. So, you know, my mom will come in here and go, I need a lotion to this week. So I'm just going to go through my collection here real quickly. Um, I don't have a lot of really old ones. I have the fresh mango, fresh sea salt mango and Waikiki Beach coconut in these square bottles from a couple years ago. This is when I first started vlogging. I actually started blogging before I, I was vlogging. <laughs> so if you go to my Queen of the Girl Geeks blog, you'll see a lot of the, um, the reviews. And you know what's funny? Because on a normal semi-annual sale year, you can pick up the body lotions for as low as like $1.88, $2.33 if you've got a good coupon. Um, I've got the pink cashmere. That one smells good. Um, so that's how a lot of us end up with so many body lotions because of semi-annual sale. Oh my gosh, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Who's ready for fall? <laughs> It smells so good. I am really like, it's funny. I actually did enjoy summer a little today. It was really cool here. I walked down to the beach and I was doing a little beach glass hunting this morning. I found a giant turtle, which was fun. Um, I'll put it, I'll put it, I'll put a picture of a turtle up <laughs> on my walk to the beach. It was really cute. I took a little video. Of but anyway, um, I'm, I'm still looking forward to fall. This whole pandemic thing has really gotten me kind of like, you know, just, just, Let's let's put summer summer on the back burner and bring on fall. Oh my gosh, you guys! Beach nights. A lot of you. This is called um, summer marshmallow. A lot of people love this one. I still have one left. Isn't that awesome? This one is the toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beechwood drift, and creamy vanilla. This one is really nice. I definitely like this one. Um, so we have this one. I had to set that one out. That should be a use it up. The brand new pink watermelon. Oh my gosh, you guys. If there's one scent that you want to get this summer, it's pink watermelon. And I'll have to say, as bad as semi-annual has been as far as the discounts, they did a really good job bringing out the new scents, aside from the fact that we don't have the lemon drop martini yet. But this entire line, the pink watermelon, the sun-washed citrus, pretty as a peach, and the raspberry tangerine, awesome collection. Like, it's funny, because last... June. I didn't think, um, I mean, I like the pink Prosecco. I actually have one of those in here, but I really think the scents that they're bringing out are much better this year, especially, um, this brand new, um, collection, which I'm going to review in more detail. Um, once I get more of it, this is a great collection though. Um, I do have a confetti cake pop, of course. And to me, it's a dupe of Christmas cookies. You guys, I swear these two are like the same scent. Um, I don't know. These are so similar to me. Did I just put the lids on wrong? I think I did. Don't mix up your lids. <laughs> Check it out. Good Betty Cake Pop. Christmas cookies. I have a winter candy apple from the... Uh, I'm going to smell this really quick. Ah, uh, Christmas. 
<laughs> Christmas is going to be here sooner than we realized. Oh, Portofino Pink Prosecco. That came out last semi-annual sale. And like I said, it's so tempting because normally for semi-annual sale, we always get a 10 off 40 coupon. So, you know, when you're buying the body lotions for like two, three bucks each, even less, you know, you can buy like 10, 12 body lotions, actually more, like 15 body lotions, get your 10 off. Then you get a whole bag of stuff for 30 bucks. Oh, the good old days. <laughs> Lovely dreamer. That's a good one. Remember this collection, you guys? This was uh, definitely semi-annual sale. Um, this one is Pear Blossom and then Violet Lily. One is Sky, one is Air. I do have those. I need more, need more space. I feel like I'm going to have a collapse here. <laughs> one of my favorites, Sunset Guava Colada. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one smells so good. Oh my gosh. This one is the Sun Kiss Guava Pink Passion Fruit Wild Orchid and Sugared Coconut. That is a really good one. Oh, Margarita Cupcake. This should be 75% off, you guys. I don't know what's going on with that. Perfect Peony. Really nice um, spring scent. Those should be buy three, get three. Champagne Toast, one of my favorites. I swear this is a little different than the new Champagne Toast, though. I don't know. I think the other one's a little bit more berry. Um, that was from Christmas. Fresh Basil and Citrus. That's kind of an old one. Um, Mad About You, classic Bath and Body Works. Um, Forever Red, another classic. In the Sun. We have um, Soak in the Sun, but we do not have In the Sun back this year. In the Sun, In the Sun is definitely like a classic beachy uh, scent. I like this one better than At the Beach, actually. Um, I have got, oh, Strawberry Pound Cake, of course, in my collection. I've got, oh, Dark Kiss and Cherry Blossom. These are two that showed up at this semi-annual sale for 75% off in-store. So we did get these, which was kind of nice. If you needed to stock up on Dark Kiss, um, that was actually 75% off in-stores. I've got, oh, Vanilla Bean. This is the new one that I just ordered not too long ago. This does smell a lot like... Um, the Beach Nights. I don't know if these are a dupe or not, but these are these are pretty. I think it's the Toasted Tonka, Toasted Marshmallow. These are kind of similar. Um, oh, I have another. Do I, I think I have two. Do I have two Forever Reds? I think I just dragged out two Forever Reds. Uh, Wild Madagascar Vanilla. This is an awesome vanilla, you guys. I always like the Wild Madagascar Vanilla. That one is so good. Um, the old Mary Cherry Cheer, the one with the amaretto in it. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. I hope they bring this old formula back. This is the first year it came out. I did not like Mary Cherry Cheer this year at all. I didn't think it was very good. Um, Havana Tropical Vanilla and Cherimoya. This was from the Tropical Collection um, 2019. I have one of these left over. That smells really good. I got a lot of these at Christmas. Uh, Fresh Sparkling Snow. I picked these up at the December semi-annual sale. This one's really nice, though. I like Fresh Sparkling Snow. Of course, Black Cherry Merlot, which keeps coming back in, like, every different bottle style you could ever imagine, which is fine. I love it. <laughs> Twinkling Nights, which has got the whipped vanilla and mandarin blossom and a little jasmine in here. Um, I like this collection, though. Twinkling Nights was really good. Set these off to the side. Um, I have a Live Fresh Seaside Breeze. I love these bottles. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. I wish they did more bottles um, of the lotion like this. That one is really pretty. Um, this is an older one. Winterberry Wonder. The old Winterberry Wonder. I liked this bottle style. I thought that was really pretty. Ooh, I love Winterberry Wonder. Um, I didn't like the new style as much this year. Um, citrus Coastal, uh, oh, this is yeah, Citrus Coastal, Capri Coastal Citrus. I read that backwards. This was a nice collection. This is definitely that lemon. This is the um, Fresh Italian Lemon, Ice Bergamot, Creamy Vanilla, Orchid, Warm, Beachy Coconut, and White Sands. Ooh, I love that one. That one's really good. Um, sugared Cranberry Cider. <laughs> um, oh, I have one Santa's Blueberry Shortbread left. Oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, that smells so good. The Blueberry Shortbread. Oops. 
I could drop my lid. I'll have to get that later. I'm not going to crawl under my desk on camera. <laughs> I do have a men's midnight. I don't have a lot of the men's. Oh, that's strong. The men's care and the lotions are really strong. It's funny. Um, sometimes lotions are real light. Sometimes they're strong. Um, the blueberry shortbread is really strong. And so is the Christmas cocoa and mint. Oh my gosh. I hope everyone got Christmas cocoa and mint. That was definitely a good one. Um, let's see. Hot cocoa and cream. This is a really old one. This is the one from the year before. You know, and it still smells fine. This one is like, um, nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly, it's perfectly good. There's no, um, it's not deteriorating at all. And this is from not last year, but the year before. So that's kind of nice. I have got the fresh coconut, oh, fresh coconut colada. I got to compare fresh coconut colada. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got to compare these two. Um, are the notes the same? Uh, kick back with our seasonally inspired cocktail fragrances. You know what's funny? Oh my gosh. So that is really interesting. I did not like this packaging. It just didn't do anything for me. It's amazing how packaging kind of steers you. I'm going to smell these two. I'll do a comparison when I review this whole collection. I think they're the same, you guys. That's really interesting. Okay, I think I have the wrong lids. Yeah, <laughs> don't make up, don't mix up your lids. Oh my gosh. Okay, fresh coconut colada. I got to do a comparison. I'm glad I did this today. So I was looking for this one. <laughs> you see what happens when you sort and organize uh, black raspberry vanilla? Um, I like the raspberry tangerine better than raspberry vanilla, in my opinion. Um, but the black raspberry vanilla is a good one. I've got the uh, new Land of Sweets hot cocoa and cream. Oh, that smells good. Um, and then in here, I've got three of the lotions from the Tropical Collection this year. This is the Bora Bora, Fiji, and Bahamas. I think these are on sale in stores for $5.95. They're on that, like, rack. I don't know why those aren't 75% off because I feel like they had a ton. That was right when the stores were closing down. So I feel like they probably had a lot of that in stock. They should blow that out for like 90% off in my opinion. Just my opinion. <laughs> um, I've also got the, these are good, Agava Papaya Sunset and Iced Pear Margarita. These are really nice. I have the, um, the sprays in these two. These two are like really nice um, kind of um, island drink type of ones. I also have, remember this collection? I've got the White Winter Jasmine Champagne Toast Pink Mango Spritzer. I really like the Pink Mango Spritzer. This one is really nice. This one was iced pink mango, white cranberry, and fresh pomegranate with a little bit of fur balsam. So it, it was like it was like mango champagne -y with a hint of pine. <laughs> that one was good. Um, Winter White Jasmine. I don't know if I like this one as much. This one was okay. I like the pink mango spritzer butter. That was a really good one. And then I have, put these in order, sun ripened raspberry. That's a classic. I like the raspberry tangerine better. And then I have two, trying to get these in order here. I have a Wahoo coconut sunset and I have a rose quartz, which is just an outlier. How funny is that? That smells really good. And then rose quartz was... <clears throat> Love and Passion. This is Rosewater, Lily Petals, and Fresh Patchouli. Oh, that was Rose and Patchouli. I did not like Rose Quartz. That, that was an old one. So that is my body lotion collection. Like I said, I, I try to keep these kind of... It's funny. I'm so glad, like I said, that I went through this because I never would have found Fresh Coconut Colada had I not done this. You know, it's kind of... This is why, like... So here's a, here's a storage recommendation tip if you're a collector. Always, like, go through your collection on a regular basis because then you can kind of do, like, a check to see whether or not a product has gone bad. And then you can also um, pull some out that you want to use um, as a use it up. Because, you know, what's the point of a collection if you can't, like, go through it and, like, go, oh, my gosh, this is what I have in my collection. So I do this often. That's why I like to do these videos because um, then I can share my process with you guys on how I actually 
go through these. So the ones that I'm keeping out now are actually, I'm worried this is going to tip over. I'm going to have an accident here. <laughs> um, the two I pulled out for today are Beach Nights, because I want to um, use some of this up. And then I'm definitely going to compare my fresh coconut colada with my new fresh coconut colada. That's fu so funny that I, you know, I didn't realize that this was what the, the bottle looked like. So I will definitely do that. Thank you so much for watching my little collection organization haul. Like I said, I recommend definitely getting one of these bins. Best way to store your lotions. You can just pile them all up here. I've almost got them all back in. The only problem is it's heavy. So definitely like put it under your bed or something in a, in a dry, cool place. And they'll stay for a long time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.